We are gearing up for the busiest travel week of the year, and some people are already getting a head start. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. Travelers who hit the roads and airports today are reaping the benefits. Less traffic and shorter TSA lines. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian spoke with families making an early getaway for Thanksgiving. And the Thanksgiving holiday getaway begins. It's good to get an early start. Trying to beat the chaos. So, trying to get ahead of it, stay ahead of it. Staying far ahead of what AAA Northeast predicts as its third busiest Thanksgiving travel season since it started keeping track in 2000, especially on the road, with a projected 49.1 million traveling by car this year, up nearly 2% from last year. Gas prices are lower from 2022, but so is demand. But we're seeing that demand is down 3% compared to last year, and prices are anywhere from 30 cents cheaper uh, compared to last year. They're 58 cents per gallon cheaper in New Jersey. This all as 55.4 million Americans are projected by AAA to travel overall this holiday, up 2.3% from last year. Drivers at the Vince Lombardi service area in New Jersey are making hours long trips. Packing snacks, peanut butter and, and jelly sandwich, beef jerky, and uh, cashews. Of Chex Mix, Pop Tarts, and trying their best to stay sane. We listen to music, read books, and talk. Everyone's getting along? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, we're just not talking. Saturday morning was busy at Newark Airport. It slowed down significantly by midday. Traveling with children, uh, we try to avoid the, you know, really busy days. Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving are expected by TSA and AAA to be the busiest travel days. And TSA expects to check in more than 30 million people between this past Friday and the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Some think this is all from pent up demand due to COVID. Demand from a lot of few years that nobody could go anywhere. So I think there's still that going on. Much needed time with family and friends that was well worth the wait. At Newark Airport, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.